I'm Richard Carwright, welcome to my channel. Now, a lot of golfers out there have heard of that phrase, good hands or Spanish hands. What does that mean in the game of golf? Well, a lot of it means just purely educated hands. A lot of experienced golfers just sort of tend to feel the golf club and feel the swing, feel the shot with just their hands, not their body as such. Their body just swings, their body just turns, and the club is swung by more the hands rather than anything. Not being discriminatory here, higher handicappers tend to use not very, met, not very much hands during the golf swing. They tend to try and keep the hands really solid, really still during the golf swing. It makes sense. We're trying to, we feel we're trying to control that club. Okay, especially with the driver, for example, we feel like we're trying to control the club. But in reality, we need to allow that golf club to do the work. We need to allow those hands to do their work. So we need what we call educated hands. We need to allow the hands to what we call crack that whip on the way through. And this goes for a lot of golfers out there, most of you who tend to either top the driver, maybe even miss the ball with the driver, or tend to hit that big slice. It's more than likely because you're not utilizing your hands during the golf swing. And I want you to do this test for me then to, to really see if you do use your hands or not. On the way through, what I want you to get the feeling of here is the feeling two things. One, the arms pretty straight on the way through, and two, the back of the left hand pointing down towards the ground on the way through. And you'll notice what happens to the golf club there. It turns closed, okay? So we're, we're utilizing the hands and rotating those hands, pronating those hands as it were, as the, the scientific method of it, the scientific word of it says. We're trying to turn those hands. We're trying to let the golf club do the work from there. And that's how we're allowing it to happen. We're not trying to what I call windscreen wipers, flick the ball up in the air. We're trying to rotate the hand and that back of that left hand pointing down. Now, for a lot of skeptics out there, again, for people who've sort of been really educated in the game of golf and the golf swing in particular, a lot of them think, hang on, you've got to really time that well to get that club back to square. Okay, because if we're doing this with the left hand, if we're rotating that left hand and right hand like so, we're thinking, my word, that ball's gonna go straight left, it's pointing way left. But what we are doing, and this is a crucial point here, what we are doing is letting the golf club rotate with us. The mass of our shoulders, the mass of our torso, the mass of our arms, we're just letting that golf club do the work. What we call just purely angular momentum, we're letting that golf club turn with us. It's a rotationary sport at the end of the day, and we're just allowing that golf club to do the work. What those golfers out there do who don't use their hands is actually stopping the club from what it wants to do, what it needs to do. And if we don't allow the hands to work, we're stopping that club from rotating. Thus, we struggle to get the club down to the ground and thus that face is left open. So as long as we're allowing that turn to occur, as long as we're allowing those hands to what I call whip through, and try it, almost try it on the driving range. Yeah, try it on the driving range, probably not the golf course, especially if you're in a monthly medal or stable foot. Just feel like you're letting that golf club, letting those hands turn through. And you'll be amazed at the results. Stop the body, don't, don't turn the body at all. Just feel like you're swinging the club with just your hands, just your hands. And you will be amazed about what the difference is and how far it will go, even just utilizing the hands, whipping those hands, educate those hands to allow for that club to turn. You won't need to time it as such, you won't need to time it, we're just allowing the golf club to do, do its work for us. And it's difficult, especially if you're not used to that, especially if you're not used to allowing those hands to do much work. It'll feel strange, you'll feel like you're almost losing control, but in reality, we're gaining control because we're letting that golf club do the work for us. Try it, let those hands do more of the work on the way through. Have a few shots on the driving range, experiment. Just feel those hands doing more of the work, that back of that left hand pointing more down on the way through 
as opposed to pointing up towards the sky. Hope this helps. Let me know how you get on. Comment below, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for me, please. And let me know how you get on.